Hey everyone. Since this problem uh, gave a lot of challenges to some of the students, I thought I would work quickly through it so you can see another example of one of these worked out in class. So the checkup problem from this week was that a soccer ball is booted from the ground at some angle, in this case 46 degrees with respect to the horizontal. The ball is in the air for t equals 2.3 seconds before it lands back on the ground. And the question was, what was the horizontal distance that the ball traveled? So let's go to uh, this guy here. So first I would say always draw a picture. So I have some horizontal ground where I have a ball that gets kicked up into the air, does its thing, lands back at the ground, uh, t equals 2.3 seconds later. And then the question was, what is this displacement? Which I'll just give it a variable, let's call it D. And let's see, what else do we know? We also know that the ball was launched with some velocity, that it made an angle that was 46 degrees. So, what to do? So let's move this up. We can first write down what we know. Do we know anything about the initial 2D position? Let's put the origin, let's see, how about we put the origin here? So if that is the origin, that's up and that's to the right. The ball then begins at the coordinate zero, zero. The ball ends at the coordinate, since it comes back down to the ground, we know its vertical height ends at zero, and it moves some distance d in the horizontal direction. We know, well actually in this case we do not know, and I think this is what stumped people, really anything about the initial velocity at all. But we can always make some symbols, and the fact that you were given an angle, you know, you might use as a hint, that you know the velocity can be written like this for the horizontal and vertical components of the velocity um, as a function of the uh, do, 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 as a function of the um, total velocity and as a function of the angle that it was launched at. Then what else do we know? We of course know the acceleration. 0 comma g, or negative g rather. And then we know the time that it was in the air was 2.3 seconds. Now, we want to find, I guess, this guy here. But if we take our equation, our kinematic equations, let's see, so if we write out the full expression you, know, you always can start from here. This is generally always true as long as the acceleration is a constant vector. And then from this, the final position, d comma zero, equals the initial position, which was zero, zero. The initial velocity, which was that, in the vertical direction is that, all multiplied by t, plus one half the acceleration vector t squared. And you can read off the top lines and that gives you the equation for the horizontal motion and then the bottom line gives you the equation for the vertical motion. Now you notice that we ultimately want this guy here but it also, if we were to write out that equation, it also includes this velocity that we do not know. Everything else we know, because we know theta, we know g, we know t even in this case, but there are two variables that we do not know yet. Um, so we cannot get d directly from that one equation. However, if you look at the bottom row, so the vertical component, notice that the only thing you do not know in the vertical equation 
is the absolute value of the, uh, or the magnitude rather, of the velocity. Now let me write it down for uh, the x component is this. Let's see, got some spurious little white dots. And then the vertical guy is this and again on the bottom we know this we know this we know this we know this we do not know this but it's one equation with only one thing that isn't known so we could solve for this velocity once we have this guy we could plug it into the top equation and then we could use the top equation to get d so let's do that so for the bottom guy, I could move the 1 half gt squared to the other side. So I get something that looks like that. Uh, let's see, does that look correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. I notice that there's a t on both. Uh, so I can get rid of one of those since I know t is not zero. So then I get this guy, or I could solve and write V as G times T divided by two sine of theta. Let's see, does that make sense? G is acceleration times time is a velocity. The thing in the denominator does not have a unit, so we're good to go. Now with my calculator, 9.8, T was 2.3 seconds divided by 2, divided by sine of 46. Is my calculator in degree mode? It is. So in this case, I get 15.67 meters per second. Now, with that, the top equation then says, you know, so from the top guy, so um, do 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 do. And this guy is used as well. I get d equals the horizontal velocity, which is just this guy, multiplied by how much time. I just calculated the velocity. I know the angle, so I know the cosine, and I know time. So let's do that. So velocity 15.67 times cosine of 40, I've already forgotten, 46, times t, which was 2.3. That all looks good. Uh, I get 25.04 meters. All right, so again, you know, something I've been trying to emphasize is First step, you know, kind of draw a picture. Second step, write down what you know. Third step, start completely general. Um, once you identify what equation you want, you know, in this case, we need the position equation. The more simpler velocity vector equation might have worked, you know, for other problems, or might work for other problems, rather. Then start to get more specific with the, prob with the information from the problem. You know, if it's zeros, you can plug those in right away because that makes terms disappear. You know, but everything else I try to keep as a symbol as for as long as possible because cosine and sine of 41 or 46 degrees is going to be some number with a lot of decimal points. I'd rather not, you know, carry that around with me as I figure this out. Then I identify kind of what I could, what information I could glean uh, by solving one equation versus another and use that to make my way to get my desired answer. Hope this is helpful.